Today we'll be coloring a music video for Netspend. Opened up in the timeline here, I have three clips from the brand new Lyrical Lemonade music video as you guys see here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna be taking these clips from regular footage that's been colored to flat footage, and then we're gonna be recoloring each clip individually with a completely different color grade. If you guys are new to this series, make sure you hit subscribe because I do this for almost every single artist in the industry. I think it's a really good way to practice color grading and to get better. Now, before we hop into this video, I have to let you guys know about my brand new plugin coming up for Premiere Pro called Fast Effects. It allows you to instantly add hits, shakes, wipes, CRT transitions, thermal transitions, and a ton more effects inside of your timeline instantly in just a few clicks. Everything inside of this is fully customizable. I highly recommend going to the description below and joining the waitlist for the plugin. You guys will have early access to the plugin, exclusive discounts, the ability to possibly beta test, and you'll be entered into a free giveaway to get the plugin for free possibly. The waitlist is down below. I highly recommend you guys go join it. There's a bunch of benefits, but let's hop right back into the video. So to get started here, what we're going to do to decolor the footage is we're going to click on our clip, go into Lumetri Color here, and we're going to open up Basic Correction. Now, I'm going to turn down the saturation to around like 50%, maybe even 40% uh, here. And then I'm going to go ahead and crank the contrast all the way down. And then we'll turn the highlights up a little bit, just like that. And in my opinion, I think this looks like flat footage that you need to shoot out of S log, C log, anything like that. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to press control C on my clip, highlight my other two clips and press option command V. And now I'm going to make sure I have Lumetri color pasted and I'm press OK. And then it's going to be pasted on these clips as well here. And it's going to make them look like flat footage. So to get started, I'm going to go back into project now, right click, create a new item, and then click adjustment layer. We're going to hit OK and then drag this into our timeline and put it over all of our clips. And then we're going to cut it for each individual clip here and bring them down. We're going to be coloring on the adjustment layers here. I think it's the best way to color music videos inside of Premiere Pro. Now, what we're going to do to get started, is we're going to click on the much color and we're going to go down to creative and under look, we're going to hit none and then browse. Now we're gonna be using LUTs to color this. I'm gonna be using my LUT pack, but I promise you guys, you don't have to go ahead and download it. There are a ton of free LUTs on the internet that you can practice with. What I pretty much do is I just use this as a base, then I go in and tweak everything. You guys can use your own LUTs, but if you do wanna grab my LUT pack, it'll be linked down below. There are over 285 plus unique and different LUTs here, as you guys can see. There are a ton of them. You will actually never run out of LUTs for your videos. So let's pick a completely random one just to show you guys how versatile this is. Let's go with uh, 208 here. And we have this really nice, blue look we turn it on and off now let's go into basic correction and we're gonna go ahead and mess with this a little bit more i'm gonna go ahead and turn the contrast up i really like the way that looks maybe turn the highlights up a little bit or turn the highlights up a little bit and then the shadows down i'm gonna go ahead and bring this down here just so we can see it a little bit better and then maybe i'll add i like the adding of a little bit of orange here on the scale but let's do that and then be the greens too much let's add a little bit of saturation now too now, if we go inside of curves here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the red curve and I'm going to make a three point axis just like this. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to play with these until I get something that we like. So if you watch this T-shirt here, the more I turn this up, this is what it was before. It's going to pop a little bit more with the whites and the reds. This is going to make the shadows a lot more blue, which I like. Make his face a little bit more red there. Go back inside of basic correction and boom. I love the way this looks here, guys. I love the blue and uh, orange look. Super clean, guys. We have the before and then the after. Crazy look. And if we compare it to the original music videos, look here. This was the original music video, and then this was ours. Super dramatized look, but I love it. Moving on to the next one now, guys, we're gonna go ahead and find our hero frame, which if I haven't explained before, it's finding the best looking frame where there's no motion blur and you can see the artist pretty clear. I'm gonna go ahead and use this one because like most of the clip is already like sort of like this. So we're gonna click on that on our adjustment layer. Once again, the metric color, open up creative under look hit none and then hit browse and then find another completely random LUT. Let's go with uh, number seven here, why not? So we have a super clean, super simple LUT here. Just adds a little bit more color and contrast to it. Let's go inside a basic correction and we're gonna turn that contrast up. Uh, we're gonna turn the highlights down a bit and then turn the shadows down. I'm gonna go for like a darker looking one here. We're gonna turn the whites up a little bit and then the blacks down. Let's go ahead and make this orange. Add some green in there. And then I think the highlights can be brought down a little bit more. And boom, I love the way this looks, guys. If you enjoy color grades like this, make sure to hit subscribe because I have a ton more videos just like this on the way. All right, so our very last one, we have this crazy shot that I love. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing, guys. You guys know how it is. We're gonna click creative, look, none, browse. Another completely random lot. Let's go with 86 here. And that is clean. Basic correction. 
we're gonna go ahead and turn the contrast up shadows down actually let's turn the whites down turn the greens down turn the exposure up shadows down highlights up and then the whites down highlights up and then we're gonna go inside of curves here and we're gonna set a three point for the white curve now we're just going to mess around with these so this is like the shadows obviously here let's turn these down turn the highlights up and then the midtones we'll turn them down a bit and i love like i love these grungy super contrasted looks i think they look really clean um we have the before and then the after absolutely love the way this looks and yeah guys those are my three color grades that i did on this nets bend music video here my brand new plugin fast effects that i mentioned before is coming out soon you guys can join the waitlist down below too thank you guys so much for watching i'll see you in the next video peace